Good morning, beautiful people. It is indeed week two already of 2023. So we are today going to be ticking another thing off the bucket list, which is super exciting. We're going to be heading straight up to Byron Bay to the Cape Byron Lighthouse, the very most easterly point of mainland Australia. And then we're going to be jumping off it. So we are indeed today going to be going hang gliding. My very first time, my dad's first time who will be going with me. So it should be super, super exciting. Now we have literally just gotten the go ahead with the weather. So we're going to get straight into it and I'm going to tell you a bit about it as we go. Now hang gliding, obviously some of you might have tried, some of you might not, but I thought it would be a pretty cool experience while I was back in this beautiful part of the world. But as you're about to see, this almost turned into the story of the time I nearly didn't go hang gliding. So stick with me on this one and you'll see why. Also, as I just mentioned, you will be seeing my dad in this video as well. This was actually a really late birthday present for him to go hang gliding, seeing as I was away for the last year for his birthday, which is just really special for me to share this experience with him as well. Anyway, this is the start of the experience in Byron. You do go with an instructor because obviously we don't have a clue how to fly. So this is our instructor, Brian. He runs the Byron Airwaves hang gliding school and basically, as he explained to us, even though it was such a gorgeous day on the headland, the weather and wind obviously really impact your ability to fly, whether it's not windy enough or just too windy altogether. You do also have a bit of a safety brief. Learn what you're doing. wait for the right conditions. It was pretty blustery at this point. So we had my brother as well, holding down the back of the glider before takeoff and then you're good to go. Perfect takeoff right there for my dad. And here's a bit of that stunning view over the Cape Byron Lighthouse. This beach they're flying over is Tallow's Beach. And of course the headland where they launched from and we're still standing. Now, while you're checking out that view, to give you a better understanding of hang gliding, it is essentially a sport or activity in which you fly a lightweight, non-motorized aircraft known as a glider and rely completely on catching the wind or thermals. They're usually streamlined, capable of going much faster and able to fly in stronger wind conditions when compared to paragliding. I was lucky enough to grow up and go to school in the Ballina Byron area, so I'd seen a whole lot of people go hang gliding before, and for me this was another real reason why I wanted to give it a go. Once again, beautiful landing there on the beach. Then it was my turn to go. Here you can see I'm just getting ready. Got my helmet. Glider is ready to go. Ended up standing on the platform, ready to launch and literally just couldn't go because within the last half hour, the winds had come right up and it was way too blustery to even take off, which for this particular ramp, I believe for anyone curious, it was about anything over 25 knots. So 
So as you just saw, I obviously couldn't go for safety reasons with the current weather conditions. We were offered essentially a refund, but that's not what this year is about. I've said, I really want to tick this thing off. So we're going to go back in the next couple of days and give it a second go. Three days later. So it is now Friday. We were originally supposed to fly on Monday. That got cancelled. Dad went Tuesday, as you saw, I got cancelled. We rescheduled for Thursday, just because we thought the weather was gonna be better. It actually ended up getting cancelled because there was not enough wind. It just wasn't coming together for us. Anyway, today is our very last day here on the North Coast before I do head back down to Victoria for a little while. We've just got the go ahead, so we're about to head back into Byron. Fingers crossed for a second go today. Once again, headed back into Byron with absolutely no promise of even getting to go, unfortunately, but we did end up getting super lucky with the weather coming together just enough for us to reset up the glider and get back on the platform. Now, unlike our previous attempt, the issue today was the wind direction, not wind speed. So that's what we're waiting for here. Go, Laura! And there we go, finally off the platform. Takeoff felt super smooth, no problem whatsoever. And this is a little bit of our view once we were up in the air. You might be able to spot, we circled and stuck to quite a different section of the headland this time, purely again because of the wind direction, but I actually couldn't believe just how smooth and calm the whole experience actually felt once you were up in the air. A few more gorgeous views overlooking Cape Byron and just no wind rush like I expected whatsoever. Also really awesome experience to be able to learn a bit about the sport and have a feel of guiding and turning the glider. Unfortunately, the weather conditions did drop again with the wind direction changing almost directly after this. So there was no more flights for the day. We had organised since we were making the trip back for my mum to go as well this time, which was really a shame it couldn't go ahead. So hopefully you'll see us back in Byron in the sky next time we're there. Slightly faster to come in and land with the different winds. And just beautiful back down on Talos. Alrighty, well, we have just finished up back in the car. I really, really thought it was absolutely beautiful when I finally got in the air. Incredible experience. One that I honestly, I wasn't sure I was going to say this, but honestly really would recommend. Really calm, really relaxing for what I thought it would be, but beautiful in the air. My word of warning for you though, which I am kind of disappointed that I didn't read online before this, is if you only have a day to do this, seriously don't even bother booking or you might get lucky, give it a go if you want, but leave yourself a whole bunch of time to go with the weather for an activity like this. So I'm very glad I ticked it off my bucket list. I'm glad that dad got to as well, obviously being a very late birthday present for him. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video with me. I hope you get to try something like this yourself and I can't wait for you all to join me again next week for something new.